morning, three of us from the Pan Am Experience, Anthony and Talal, Captain Talal. We're on a road trip today to a desert location in California. All shall be reviewed soon. Stay tuned. Oh, this is awesome. This is a great starting. Yeah. Like 174. Oh my god. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Yeah, We're in the middle. Yeah, oh, Pan, Pan Am 74 oh, no, there. Pan the Convert A80 in the Qantas Jumbo. This is unbelievable. Look at where we are. KLF We're in the Jumbo. middle of two the KLF. airplane Tom. junkyard. Wow. What was two ties seven? <laughs> Wish you'd clean your window, man. <laughs> Captain, the owner and president of Air Hollywood. You're here, I'm taking you guys on a ride. You are at Mojave Airspace, entire desert. It's full of airplanes. It's an amazing place. You get to see all the most amazing aircraft in the world all retired here. Incredible place, Mojave. Look at all these airplanes here. Qantas 400. I've probably flown one with lots of these airplanes. This is the end of the line for a Lhasa 747. And then today we're coming out, hopefully to check some of the interior out. We're about to go on this giant 74. Now my favorite thing about this aircraft is it actually has an completely intact interior. Complete with the longitudinal galley that Thai Airways had and that amazing wall and wallpaper only used by Thai Airways. I actually want to bring it back home today because I want to recreate the Thai Airways experience at Air Hollywood. Be careful, in the middle, in the middle. Okay. In the middle, yeah. Oh. In the middle. Welcome aboard, please join us at Thai Airways 747. I can't believe the Thai Airways continue to live in the desert of California. Look at this, unbelievable. Well, I actually remember myself flown this very special Thai 747 sitting in the Royal First Class and then everything is kept intact. The airplane get retired and sold to the desert and but the seats came with it and the seats are just collecting dust right now. What a shame. Okay. All right, so this is the wallpaper I was referring to. You'll notice this kind of purple hue of dark and light lavenders and it has the entire Thai landscape in the back, like the Grand Palace and everything on the river. And I love the fact that Thai Airways actually thought about all this stuff when they were designing the aircraft, that it reflects the heritage of the country. Okay, so yeah, Sam, this is the longitudinal galley. And this was really unique to just a handful of airlines on the 400. But you might remember that the 747 SP had this galley on every single aircraft type. And I loved it. I loved it because on the reverse of this galley was always really unique artwork for the airline. And Thai Airways included. Okay, so now we're actually on the other side of the galley. And so this is the wall that I was referring to. It always had amazing artwork on it. And you can see here, they put the Thai temples in the color scheme of the airline on this wall. And this would have been my favorite place to sit, right? It was actually more private. You didn't have pastures on the other side of you and you got to enjoy the artwork for your entire flight. This is uh, the traditional interior from Thai Airways in the economy cabin. What stuff is this hang loose in the uh, ceiling here? Okay, so this is actually the the PSU systems and so all the oxygen masks are actually still intact here and this is actually a pretty valuable part of the airplane still and so they've got these down but um, you know people actually want to buy these things because they're still operable oh Sam look at this it's almost like Royal Orchid Service is right here on board today with us she's still here with yes. you yes in fact I have this uniform in my collection so, you know, I think one of the things I love about this aircraft is the fact that this movie screen is so old school. Like, think about this was really engineering from the 70s and 80s on 747s where the crew would flip the screen for the movie. Another reason why I love this 747. So on the upper deck, Thai Airways did Royal Orchid executive class, right? The business class product. And oh, look at this. There's actually a purple curtain sitting right here from Thai Airways still. Are you gonna take home with this? Yeah, I'm actually absolutely taking that with me. <laughs> <laughs> so while most of the instrumentation is obviously all gone, you can see there's still four throttles here, right? For four engines. 
right. Look, one, two, three, four. Yep. Flap down Farther the other up. way. Oh, full, full power. power. Yeah. <laughs> Rotate the Rotate moment. Not Our second airplane for today is going to be this X Qantas 747 400. No true aviation geek would get on this airplane via jet bridge or air stairs. We're going to walk up the aviation geek way, and that is through the nose wheel of the 747. We'll crawl through this little hole here at the bottom of the aircraft, and then we're going to reach literally right up inside the first class cabin of the 747. Hopefully, I don't get stuck in there. Ooh. Woo, I just made it the first stair, and now I'm in the uh, EE Bay, the Avionics Bay. Whoa, this is tight. Oh my God, I'm stuck here. <laughs> Have you ever seen a man go stuck in between first class and the belly? Woo. I made it first time aft geek boarding a 747 from the nose wheel into first class cabin. What a difference. Oh, look at the seats here, they're good. I love these green color, Qantas color seats, wow. So, Sam, have you ever walked on the wing of a 747? Oh, you're kidding me. No, here we can. All the way to the end of the wingtips of this 400, it's an amazing experience. Show me. Come join me. I'm jumping out of the plane. Oh my God. Come. <laughs> That's what I'm in. This is so cool, standing on the edge. Look at this. Yeah. Unbelievable. This is, this is the best spot. Look at this. Look at the nose to nose. Now I am at the wingtip of the 747-400. How cool is this? And you can jump around and bounce. Yeah, I'm feeling turbulence. <laughs> oh my God, this is engine number four. Gone. Yeah, we're missing all the engines. This is really right in the middle of all the junk and the thing they scrapped. Look at this. This looks like some sort of pipes or landing gear and all sort of things, engine cowling, like all metal scrapped. This is a, a 747 engine, part of an engine. Come closer here and you can see it's made out of titanium. <clears throat> titanium, and you see all this? This is really very valuable uh, material. And what do we do with it? We make a fireplace out of it. You're actually doing good deeds. You turn all these airplane junk into collectibles, exactly. into furniture. It's like we reusing the aircraft for a really good cause and for good things, for our art, for everything that we do. It's really a lot of fun doing that. It's incredible, there's just hundreds of planes here. They're all heavy bodies as well. DC-10, MD-11, 747. And I can spend here for months here just wandering around. Isn't that incredible? This is a shot, you want to take a photo here. You can see through to the Lufthansa behind. <laughs> this is convertible. Convertible, yeah. Airplane convertible. Who's the owner of this is? So look, Sam, this is Spirit Aircraft number 133. Wow. Just had an incredible tour, an hour around all the storage airplanes inside 2747. It's really sad, though, because you know this is end of the line. None of the plane will fly again. So this desert is probably the most well-known boneyard for aircraft of any of them, Victorville. And it's, the, it's the, probably the most popular because it is in fact the largest. I mean, just look in front of us here, there's probably a hundred FedEx retired aircraft. And that's just one little section of this desert. Wow, there's just massive amount of numbers of planes here. Incredible, incredible place. There's United. Oh, Man, look at that China Airlines. Damn. Wow. Two 
too bad you weren't here, Sam, when we were gonna crush this plane. The next one to go is that one right there. Man, that would be really sad, man. You know, I've flown on that airplane, VHOJN. Wow. I've flown it to South Africa with first class inside. It'll be really sad. I don't think I can watch that when you guys crash it. It's sad. Yeah, it comes apart real fast. Real fast too. Oh, oh yeah. my God. Yeah, I'll send you a video. <laughs> oh, I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> These are our excavators that we use to demolish the planes. This is uh, the machine to demolish planes. This is the literal one compared to the Hitachi. The Hitachi does more of the stronger metal. How long it take to bring a plane down and reduce them into that scrap metal pile? Uh, 747 usually takes about a month. A month? A month from yes. start to finish. Uh, interior gutted and then probably two weeks to crush the whole thing with the excavators. What so about like a small a plane, work. like a 737? Oh, that one usually takes about three days. Three days you yeah. can reduce into that pile? Yeah. Wow. Look at this, all these metal coming off the plane, the parts here. Can you believe the pile just behind me? All these metal scrap are from an MD-11 and a 737. But can you believe the whole big MD-11 wide body airplane and the 73 reduced to this pile of metal scrap? Wow, it's unbelievable seeing the two 747 landing gear here. They're like way taller than me. Huge. Wow, look at this. A plane's hanged, the engine's been taken out because the engine is the more valuable part. And um, it's so quiet here. All you can hear sometimes is the wind making the door bangs around and also lots of birds flying around. The birds love sitting on top of the fuselage. It's so quiet. I'm walking alone. It's quite freaky here, right? It's a bit scary at times. Like an aircraft cemetery. Well, out of hundreds and hundreds of planes, perhaps this one is the one I'm most attached with because I first flew a 747 was with United. This is an ex United 747. Let me go inside. Let's look at the old girl one more time. Let's go inside her. Ooh. This is United Global Fur section. Look at the carpet, I recognize it. <laughs> yeah, but it's a bit tricky than the last one I climbed because it's a bit to the side. Oof. Oh my God, they still have the seats here. Yeah. Oh, I remember yeah, sitting here, Trans-Pacific, many times. Woo. Incredible. This was the business class section. All the seats were taken out. Anyone want to buy a lavatory? This one's probably used a million times and travel probably a couple million miles across the Pacific on United. Anyone still want it? You're right. Oh my God, the Economy Plus. The I seats are still here. Seats, I love the padding. The padding is excellent on these seats. Yeah, these are really great wow. seats. Okay, I can barely see here. It's still wrapped pretty good. Oh, look at these 747 beans. Look it up, look it up, look it up. Look it up. Oh, the ceiling. Look at that. It has all the haulage, but uh, the ceiling was missing on this part. Look at that. This is how we used to watch TV. Yeah. We used to watch just one. Look at this. Yeah. But this became a better one. This became an LED kind of screen. Actually, this has value, I guess. Anyone want a free LED screen? Come here. <laughs> it's so dark here. Scary. This is at the back of the United Summer Oh, there's a ghost. <laughs> this is Airplane Cemetery. So this guy here, there's a ghost living on United 747. Yeah, I'm afraid of birds. You can see the bird jobs, the bird feather. They probably had a fight here. Look at all this bird. Original United Airlines business class seats. Wow. That's really Have sad, you seen actually. this? Whoa. That's this bad. is like unbelievable. All the bird jobs. The birds love United business class yeah, seats. Apparently. Sam, take a look inside and see where the birds are coming from. Oh, they're coming from the carpet. Wow, wow, wow. The carpet's wide open. There's no window. They took the window, the windshield off the carpets of the 400. So many planes on the storage, looking good out here. Oh, it's unreal. Look at all the panels were hanging out. Look at the lights here. 
three hotel. Look at the ceiling, all the wires. Everything's hanged. Very interesting. Never had an experience like this. This is the middle uh, closet United had on there later. The last 400 configuration right in the middle between seats 1A and 1K. Are you going to serve us? Come on, we're waiting. Where's my mimosa? Um, yeah, I'd like this to be a replication of United Airlines Royal Pacific service. Let's say San Francisco, Tokyo, flight 800. Fortunately, these guys, they're the only people on this plane. This is really, really <laughs> very, very, very funny. And there's a hole right here. You know, so the this is the only seat. way out. We just saw those guys took a lot of seats out of this 777. See those blue color seats on the uh, trailer? Now we're gonna see a 777-200 in storage. But just go inside the 777, the white one. This is actually ex-Russian Vim airline, V-I-M, Vim airline. And you can see the avionic bay. Everything's pulled out here. All empty on the shelf. What kind of stuff you're taking out of the plane? We're working on the chairs right now. Wow, chairs. So, All right, save me a pair. I need one of them. <laughs> you got it. So I just found their flight manuals here in the cupboard and I'm looking at the runway configuration for going to Bologna, Italy. Safety oh, car. Safety car. Oh, wow. 777 200. Airlines. I actually feel like I'm in the cockpit flying the aircraft. Oh, look, I think I just got a call from the cabin staff. <laughs> yes. Hey, yeah, this is Anthony. I uh, going to be a little bit of turbulence here. This guy's done too much Pan Am experience <laughs> casting. Like he's really acting well. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, you probably recognize these seats. These were Scoot before they gave it to Wim Airline. It's actually, this is original Singapore Airlines. Then they gave it to their low cost subsidiary Scoot. Then they have this 242. Ever wonder how wide a 777 cabin is? There he goes. You see how wide it is? 10 abreast, no problem. So wide, it's unbelievable when you strip off the seats. Uh, Sam, may I offer you a beverage? Whoa, <laughs> this beverage has been there well, for 10 years. I know, I Whoa. love it because I found a tray and tray liners with the logo on it and, and oh this fantastic container. Yeah, wow, V Airlines logo everywhere. That's a gold yeah. found. You struck gold, Anthony. <laughs> I know. So you'll notice like when you actually take a sidewall panel off of an airplane, it's just this aluminum skin on the outside. There's not a whole lot of space between the passenger seat and this actual exterior of the aircraft. It's kind of scary when you think about it. The VIM 777, I've actually never even seen the airplane. That's actually what it looked like when it was in operation. Yeah, it's that's the cool. VIM color. I have flown on VIM Airline. But what? I, I didn't fly 777 though. You know what airplane I flew on Which VIM Airline? One? It's my very first Illusion 62. Oh my God, you're Four right. Four engine. That's fantastic. Yeah. Oh <laughs> How's that? Well, Just when I think I can't be more jealous of all your flying, then you share things like that with me. Dell, these are the tightest leg room ever seen. There is no way even getting in there probably. You can only do it horizontally, I think. Okay, look, I got safety cards, a VIM magazine, but the best, look, tray liners and tray. Can you believe it? Look at this. Oh my God. I'm so excited. Sam, I bought this airplane and I bought it for my studio, Air Hollywood. And right now, this entire airplane, I promise you, next year you're gonna see a movie. It's gonna come out and it's gonna see the entire thing in the movie. And we'll show you this soon. You kidding me? You bought a 777 just like that? Yeah, we did. We're gonna take wow. it apart. We're gonna take it apart and then put it back together and we're gonna start filming. We're gonna be filming soon. I'm so happy because you bought a plane from the airplane cemetery. You saved one airplane out of here and bring them alive for many more people to enjoy. That's a great deed. Thank you. I think you're a high roller, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's right here. Get all these curtains, this is an entire airplane. Bring them right there, Hollywood. We're gonna use these for any other airline replication that I wanna do. They're oh fantastic. God. They look amazing. They look oh my God, what do I have to do to deal with this? Oh my God. Please, get all of them, I every single oh one. Oh my God, I think I'm gonna put you in here. That's it. Hey guys, let's go home, kids. You need to get out. We're coming. Whoa, this is a chairlift. Wow, this is a forklift. 
And this is the way to get out of a 777 with no stairs. There's a forklift. See you guys next time. <laughs>